So one of the most common complaints when it comes to curly hair, apart from frizz, is having dry curly hair. And I'll start by saying that my hair isn't dry anymore. It used to be incredibly dry when I used to dye it, but I don't dye it now and it's not dry. So I'm just gonna talk you through a couple of tips and tricks and products that really help and things that I found kind of to make it worse and that kind of thing. The first thing you want to do is definitely, definitely avoid any kind of stripping shampoos and also avoid things like salt sprays, texturizing sprays, these are all products that I love for my hair now because it's not dry and it helps to kind of add a lot of body but if you do struggle with that kind of thing then definitely try and avoid those because they will just dry out your hair even more and curly hair can be quite coarse and dry and difficult to handle so that is something as I said that you do want to stay away from. Things that are really fantastic are conditioner. Conditioner is absolutely key for dealing with dryness and deep treatments are absolutely fantastic as well. If you want something really quick and efficient this is the Mark Hill Big Night Out Only Takes a Minute 60 Second Detox Gloss Treatment which looks like this and this is really good because it's very thick you can just leave it on for a minute and it really really nourishes your hair and leaves it kind of looking very full and glossy and healthy and I know that a lot of these products kind of are um, more of a topical help they don't kind of really nourish your hair from within but I feel like a lot of the time when your hair's super dry that helps as well and another one that's specifically for dry hair that's nice is the Berto Giannini um, Curl Friends Silky Curls Intensive Mask I didn't used to like this because the old formula was a little bit different but now I think that they've kind of changed it and made it a little bit thicker and I do quite like it now but this is nice if you want something that's not too heavy and then a really heavy duty one is the Naked Shine Coconut and Sheer Glossing Hair Treatment. Big massive tub, really, really nice. It smells gorgeous, it kind of smells very um, coconutty and just lovely and it really does gloss your hair and give it a deep moisture boost which is really really important if you have got dry hair you cannot skip conditioner and washing your hair as um, little as you can is in some ways it's helpful because it's not drying your hair out as much but in other ways it's very difficult because what happens is your hair just kind of looks very lifeless so you decide how often you want to wash it but I would recommend maybe trying to do one day yes one day no and kind of doing it that way and then hair oils hair oils are the absolute best when it comes to dealing with dry curly hair because they don't wear your curls down but they just add a nice bit of silkiness and moisture this one I absolutely love it's the L'Oreal LV Extraordinary Oil, which looks like this. Really nice, light oil, very similar to the Moroccan oil, and I did like the Moroccan oil when I was using it. I wouldn't really purchase it just because it's so expensive and it kind of wasn't my absolute all-time favourite, but very nice, and the VO5 Miracle Concentrate is also very nice as well. And then if you've got kind of very tight, um, shorter curls, this is fantastic. It's the John Frieda Frizzy's Dream Curls Enhancing Oil. And it's kind of one of those duo solution oils. Really, really nice at adding definition. Not too heavy, kind of serum-like, and just really helps to add hold and flexibility to your curls. And then last but not least, we have this one by Mark Hill, and this is the... Miraculous Moroccan Argan Oil. I've still got it in the packaging just because I thought the packaging was cute. But this is lovely because it's again a kind of not too thick oil. It comes out kind of more like a serum. Pump action, just really, really easy to use and nice and it doesn't smell horrible as well. Where I find that a lot of like typical argan oil products tend to smell a little bit weird and I'm not the biggest fan of that. But those are my product recommendations and it's very, very much a case of keeping your hair super, super healthy. So using nice quality products, don't use cheap, horrible, nasty shampoos, treat your hair to masks every time you wash it and keep applying products and it will get there. As I said, mine was super dry, split end, snapping off, just terrible. I had peroxide in it, so it made it go really weird and it was just very, very dry and in bad shape. Now, totally different. It's very, very soft, very healthy. And, you know, I'm not like boasting saying, wow, look at my amazing hair, but it is something that works. You have to put the time and effort into it, but it will work and your hair will look amazing if you give it um, time to work. So I hope you found this helpful. Um, if you've got any tips and things that you feel work for you, definitely, definitely put those in the comments below. I'd love to hear them and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.